Hey everyone, I'm Blanche and welcome to Feast in the Middle East. And you asked for her, she's back, my mom, Vera. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank many you. of you have like, where's your mom? Where's your mom? Here's my mom, she's right here. Uh, and we're, we're gonna, a team. <laughs> I know, we're gonna make one of the most requested recipes is for kibbeh. Now before on the show, a few, few maybe a couple of years ago, I made a kibbeh recipe that was vegan, that used lentils. But a lot of you meat eaters, carnivorous folks out there wanted me to do the traditional meat version. And uh, kippah is very popular. It's sort of like the shepherd's pie of the Arab world. But instead of mashed potatoes and meat, it's meat and bulgur, and then meat in the middle, and then another layer of meat and bulgur. So I thought this would be perfect for Father's Day. As I said, we have layers for this, and I'm gonna do the interior layer first, but first I'm gonna go over the ingredients so you could see what exactly goes into this. So, we're gonna start with the meats. So I got some chili cut lamb from the butcher. Uh, this is about a pound and a half of chili cut lamb. If you don't like lamb, you could substitute, what do you think, could they substitute beef? Definitely you could substitute beef. You could yeah. even use uh, chicken. Turkey. Turkey, or turkey. maybe yeah. turkey, or, or turkey or chicken thighs, chicken for example. Thigh. Uh, so Chicken that's a pound, a pound and a half of chili cut lamb, about a pound of ground beef. We've got uh, a large onion that's been diced, about two cloves of garlic that have been minced. As far as spices go, we have two teaspoons of allspice, a little dash of cinnamon. Uh, we've got some uh, pine nuts. I suggest use a half a cup of pine nuts for the inside. These are just the decorative pine nuts, but we've got more coming two tablespoons of melted butter to brush the top with to make it browned, and of course some salt and pepper. And we've got some bulgur grain. Now bulgur grain, uh, we like to use number one, it's the finest kind, and it's been pre-soaked in boiling water. So cover the bulgur with some boiling water uh, for about a half an hour till it absorbs all the liquid, and then it's ready to roll. And we've got another small onion, which my mom will show you what we use that for. This is going to go in the crust. In the crust, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the pan. Now, for the pan, I have another tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of oil. And that's going to be used to saute the lamb. You might wonder why butter and oil together. Well, it's because uh, it's going to give it a nice flavor and it's going to prevent the meat from burning. So I'm lazy. I like to go to my butcher and have him I just tell him, get me a leg of lamb and cut it chili cut for me, meaning like the size you would use for chilies, uh, in small cubes. But you can do this at home. You can cut it yourself, but this is just one nice shortcut for the modern cook. Now this is a cool thing about kibbeh. Did you know that Syrians have 17 different kinds of kibbeh? Oh yes. Oh, and yes. Lebanese do some really outrageous things with kibbeh. They'll mix it with fish. Yeah. They'll use vegetables, uh, everything from quince, pomegranate, pumpkin, Everything. They use uh, and the all kinds. The base is the same, though. The base is the same. And We're doing. Could, there's so many things you could add to it. So yeah, this, this is, is a basic one that uh, it's well known uh, in uh, Palestine, in Jordan, in Syria, in Lebanon. So we're gonna add the salt now. Make sure you season it with about a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to crack some pepper over that now. I suggest you use white pepper because. The white pepper will uh, prevent the meat from getting too dark in the casserole, but you could use regular pepper as well. And here we go, thanks. This so this awesome. is the allspice, two teaspoons of allspice we're adding to the meat. And we're gonna add just a dash of cinnamon. Now you might wonder, why are you adding cinnamon to meat? Well, in the Middle East, especially in Morocco, they use cinnamon to flavor their meat. Just it adds, a dash. Just a dash, like I'm not even gonna really use this. Overpowered. Just one onion and quarter it, that's yeah. it, right? Just one onion, quarter it. Okay. And I'm gonna start kind of, you know, I'm gonna do it by four um, batches. Batches. Okay. So I'm gonna do a uh, mix the onions with the kind of like a paste because they used to do that in the olden days, make it really fine. Okay. So now you added some, a quarter, now she added a quarter of the ground beef. And you can use ground uh, turkey if you want. If you don't like beef, you can add ground turkey. Yes. So this is great. You're going to do each segment in batches, right? Yeah, because first of all, it's not going to fit all at one time. And, right. Uh, second of all, and uh, it's, it, this way it gets incorporated more. I'm going to use my hands. My hands are clean. Now make sure that there isn't too much water in it. I, uh, I like to kind of... Squeeze it a little bit before I put it. Yeah, remember we did soak the bulgur in water. 
So we did soak it in water so that so it, it would is, kind of kind of cook on its own from the water. So you need to soak it, get all the water out as much as you can before you put it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put the the rest of the, the rest of the onions yes. there. So basically, now you could add the onion. Okay. It's already brown. Yeah. So this, so my meat is brown here. So I'm gonna add the onion and saute it a bit more before I add the garlic because I don't want the garlic to burn. So I'm just gonna saute a little and more. You see that you browned it too much. Add a little bit of water. Okay. So now I'm gonna add the two teaspoons of garlic, or like two two cloves of minced garlic. Mince it very finely. Now this is when the aroma is really gonna come out. And it's almost done. I mean, the, the liquid's all been reduced. You're get, you've got the brown meat. We're just gonna get the to, uh, onions to be softer and it'll be ready to roll. Now if any of you have uh, kippa memories, please put them in the comments below. I would love to hear about your experiences eating kibbeh growing up or what your favorite kind is. I do make a killer kibbeh mom that I make with pumpkin and I put spinach and mushroom on the inside. Wow, it's, that sounds it's amazing. It's very good. Um, or, so... or sweet potato. But see, if I show this to my dad, right? If I make sweet potato kibbeh with mushroom and spinach in the middle, my dad's gonna faint. Like he's gonna be like, what are you doing, Blanche? Yeah, this is not- You changed the This recipe. is what are you doing to the kibbeh? You're destroying it with all this vegetable in my face. Yeah. You know, like, I can't. No, no, he likes Haram. it, except Poor he likes Baba. the traditional. Now, this is all in the pan. Oh, that we looks awesome. We need to kind of knead it by hand, so I'm gonna, please help me put some salt here. Oh, sure. So we're gonna season it with some more salt. Salt, and you might want, that's enough. All right. Because your salt is very... Potent. Potent. That's <laughs> okay. Any the, pepper? You, want? you use the... Uh, sea salt. Sea salt, I like right. sea salt. Don't use like the regular table okay, salt, because so that's wanna nasty and sure, it's not good for you. Even though it's been done in the processor, yeah. we want to make sure we incorporate it really good. Okay. The meat and everything. And put uh, white pepper. Okay. So, so we're going to put regular pepper, but it should be white pepper if you don't want it to. Well, yeah. It's, it's okay. all good. It's all good. Okay, so to this, we're going to add about another half teaspoon of allspice, just to give that some flavor. It's going to make it all cohesive. Yep. So you're okay. kneading this like bread so dough, we, right? Yeah. Look, yeah. we have the paste now. It's all uniformly mixed together. Yeah. It, it all looks uniform. So now we're going to start... Um, spreading it in okay. the pan. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil that, that I'm gonna spend, spread in the pan. Okay. By the way, this cutting board Can is courtesy a... of Russell, our friend Russell. He's so awesome. He did a video for us before about uh, supporting our show through Patreon. He's been an amazing supporter of Feast in the Middle East and we're so grateful for him. He's all the way in London across the pond. Hi, Russell. Hi. <laughs> Divide it into two balls okay. because one ball is going to go in the bottom All right. and one ball is going to go in the top. I'm going to start spreading the first one. Okay. So basically what you do, you could try, it's like this. You kind of make it into a very thin patty. Right. Like this, very thin. Yeah. And then slap it on and there. And then slap in here. Let's just put it there. And uh, you want to let the the border come up a little bit, kind of like a pie, sort of like a pie crust, because that's going to hold the, the meat, filling, right? The filling. So there we go. Here mm -hmm. you can see that looks great. That looks great, Mom. Okay. So I toasted about a half a cup of pie nuts for the uh, filling, and if you don't know how to do this, you could check out some of my other videos where I have done this before. My masakhan video, for example, I toasted the pie nuts just till they're nice and brown like this. And I'm going to add it to the lamb mixture, and this is going to go into the filling. So this is already toasted, and you can see the filling is ready to go. So here we go. We're gonna put this in the middle for the filling. This could be in the middle of your shepherd's pie too. If you don't want to use the kind of uh, bulgur meat mixture that we got going on, you could also use this as the interior for mashed potatoes if you want, if you want to mix things up. So here we go. We've got the filling for the kebab. That looks gorgeous. Doesn't that look good? Don't you love yeah, the smell? Yeah, I love it. it smells I love it. killer. It's so good. Okay. So let's let's okay, do so the. Okay, so now, like I said, you could add a little bit of water if you don't want it to stick to your hand. And yeah, I'll go back it. to the same procedure that I did before, where I'm making a little a thin thin patty 
and you want it to be at like half a centimeter half, yeah. half a centimeter this makes sense to especially do it on the top because you're layering it right over the meat yeah so you don't want it to um, get mixed up with the meat you want to have a distinct layer so basically I am All gonna right. try to make it as even as I can sometimes I like to use this the spatula and then just to even it out oh, that's good because I'm kind of perfectionistic by nature but whatever so and then I am going to kind of divide it now oh that's a good idea so I'm gonna divide it and I'm gonna go, go ahead, divide I'm dividing it now so she's dipping the knife in water so that it doesn't stick. Um, stick. Very good. Okay. So we took two tablespoons of butter and we melted it in the microwave. And what we're gonna do is oh, yeah. uh, brush the, the uh, butter on the top. What are you doing? Mom? I'm trying to spread it with the... <laughs> Just do it like this. Okay. Ahsan, this right. is better. Okay. Uh, so the reason why we're putting butter on the top is it's going to give it sort of a nice glaze. And make it crusty. Cri crispy. Brown it. On the top. Nice brown golden color on the top. And make it crusty. For decoration, go crazy if you want. Uh, you could put cashews. You yeah. could put almonds. You could put um, We're pine just nuts. putting pine nuts. But pine slivered nuts. almonds are great. And I saw one with cashews, and I love cashews. So cashews go crazy and add cashews good. if you want to. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put this in an oven that's been preheated at 375 degrees. We're going to put it in for an hour or until it's nice and golden brown on the top. Yes. There we go. And now I will demonstrate how you make the kibbeh. Basically, it's almost the same, like I said, the same dough, the same inside stuffing. But what you have to do is you kind of kind of roll it into a ball like that. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of a blank ball. And then I'm going to put my finger and kind of work around it so that it just makes a very thin crust with a hole inside of it. Can you see? Mm -hmm. If I need to put water to make it more even, I can use that. Great. And then I'm going to take the filling. The filling. Here you go. Oops. This is probably one of the yummiest things you'll ever eat in your lifetime. And now I'm going to close it. Yep. See? So, and what they do is they kind of give it like, I don't know, like a egg shape with a yeah. tip. I don't know. Like a football. And this is it. Can now I try I tossing it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if you decide to do it this way, just get a big saucepan full of vegetable oil, heat it up, and then drop this baby in. And once it floats and turns a nice dark brown, it's good. Just put on paper towel and it's like crispy on the outside and savory and, and meaty on the inside. Behold, kibbe. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's all browned on top, mom. Oops. I want to cut. Oh, be careful. I'm going to cut it from the middle because I always like the middle pieces because they're like. Oh, I like the edges because they're, they're brown. Crunchy. OK, so I like the middle piece and you take the end piece because you like the crunchy brown part. Yeah, it's really good. It's yeah, it's excellent. brown and you've got Because you want it to brown from the bottom. And you got the meaty texture in the middle. OK, let's see. Mmm. See, I like to put a dollop of hummus mm. on this. Mm. Oh, well, good. Look mm -hmm. who stopped by right in the mm -hmm. middle of our taste session. You Thank can you, just Asa. come like this, drive by. Drive by Kibbe. Um, Wow, this is so amazing, Mom. Isn't it? Wow. We really, it's very good. Mm -hmm. very good. Mom, go ahead. It's, uh, I love the nuttiness and the crunchiness of the burger. Yeah, burger. it's got whole grain and meat, so it's a complete meal. You just mm. need to serve it with a salad. Hey. Help yourself, Aisa. You can't oh my do god, that. he's like spilling all over the floor, dude. Anyway, before I give him a big booty bump out of here, I just want to say thank you for joining us on Feast in the Middle East. For more recipes like this, please subscribe to our channel. I can't tell you how important it is to subscribe. Join our Patreon group if you want to see videos more often. That way I could take care of my crew here and we could churn out more videos. Go uh, see my ideas. I'm always posting ideas on Instagram at Blanche Media and on Facebook at Blanche's Feast in the Middle East. And if you have ideas of what you'd like to see in the future, let us know, especially our Patreon members. If you have recipes you want me to present, I will put you at the top of my list. Until next time, sahtan.
And let's dig in, Mom. This let's is dig like. In. I didn't oh, try wait. With lemon yet. Oh, oh, he wants to squirt lemon on his? Okay, here. Here's some lemon You're on yours, to buddy. squirt lemon on Okay, we'll just. Mm. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. I know. It's my favorite. Well, mm. see, it's because mm. meat over meat. It's Father's Day. We're eating all of Dad's kippa. Buddy. Well, we'll mm. give him the rest of the pan. We'll just kind of. Uh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's good with lemon. Yeah, that's what the Lebanese do. They oh, they're smart. Lemon. 